All right, I've added a couple of new uh, enhancements uh, again to the library. Um, so this is going to be, there's going to be a new uh, glitch on um, ignition. There's going to be a new glitch off uh, retraction. And then there's actually uh, several glitch variations for prion. Um, so let me show them. So the idea is that your, you know, your blade isn't quite uh, fully working. Um, so the first one, this is going to be the, the glitch on ignition. Um, so it'll go up, it'll lose itself, and then it'll flash in and out quickly, and then it'll stabilize. So, and you can change the time and extend it or delay it. Um, and then the glitch off retraction is similar, it's the, the inverse of that. So it kind of flashes in and out. So that one was a longer um, retraction time, so it, it doesn't uh, do it as quickly, but again, you can adjust the timings. Um, but again, so this is the glitch on, glitch off um, in the ignition and retraction options. And then for the prions, there's actually several variations depending on what you want to do. Take my light sword from the statue. So now all these prions are timed out at 800 milliseconds. Again, you can adjust the prion length. Um, the actual prion will only appear for the length of time your prion wave file is playing, but you can still adjust the timings um, if it comes up short or if it runs too long. But these are all, all the glitch versions are going to be 800 milliseconds. Um, so they're intended to be very short. Um, so similarly, this is going to be, the first one is an unstable version in white. Um, you can do, there's going to be three versions plus three colors. So you can do it either in the blade color or white, and then there's an unstable one, an unstable two, and a static. Um, so this one is the unstable one, um, and this is the prion, uh, the glitch prion. And then I've got a post off active. Um, and again, you choose all these options in the enhancement screen. Return the bright star to the Mustafarians, and, and then, I may be freed from this curse. And then this is going to be the unstable two. So that one uses a hump flicker, so it's a little different unstable effect. Return the bright star to the Mustafarians, and I may be freed from this curse. And then this is the last one, which is the static. So it's an audio flicker. So it actually, this one flickers a lot more because it also has that audio flicker effect. And again, all of these, you can change the timings. Um, you can mess around with them, but uh, they're going to be in the enhancement screen. So you choose your base blade, go to the customize enhance, and then you'll have prion effects. There's the new glitch versions. Um, and then if you don't have a prion, you can choose between the first one that I showed, which is a glitch on, glitch off. Um, and again, you can mix and match, you can tweak them out. Um, so the library is really meant to be a kind of a way to get in there. Um, and then, of course, now we do have the beta of the style editor. If you haven't seen it yet, there's actually on all the customized enhanced screens, there's now a check in editor beta button. Um, and that'll take you into the beta editor and you can go in there and you can actually play around with stuff in there. Um, the editor looks pretty good. I've been using it uh, for a little bit. It seems to be running okay. If you do run into any bugs in the editor, please report them in the TRA thread uh, so that Frederick has that feedback um, because we're trying to get that editor done so that it can come live. Um, but so far, I've used it for a number of these styles and been able to edit it without a problem. Um, but, of course, anything pops up. Um, I know he did a ton of work and there's a lot of changes to the editor, so there could always be something small that just didn't get checked yet that you run into, so just report it. Um, but uh, some new styles, I've put, posted a couple other videos, um, and then these new enhancements are also available, so check out the library and enjoy.